Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. A short time, May 14. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. Revelation 12.12 12. Jesus Christ is the only refuge in these perilous times. Satan is at work in secrecy and darkness. Cunningly, he draws away the followers of Christ from the cross and brings them into self-indulgence and wickedness. Satan is opposed to everything that will strengthen the cause of Christ and weaken his own power. He never rests for a moment when he sees that the right is gaining the ascendancy. He has legions of evil angels that he sends to every point where light from heaven is shining upon the people. Here, he stations his pickets to seize every unguarded man, woman, or child and pass them over to his service. God would have his work done intelligently, not in a haphazard manner. He would have it done with faith and careful exactitude that he may place the sign of his approval upon it. Those who love him and walk with fear and humility before him, he will bless and guide and connect them with heaven. If the workers rely upon him, he will give them wisdom and correct their infirmities so that they will be able to do the work of the Lord with perfection. Our good works alone will not save any of us, but we cannot be saved without good works. And after we have done all that we can do in the name and strength of Jesus, we are to say, we are unprofitable servants. We are not to think we have made great sacrifices and should receive great reward for our feeble services. We must put on the armor and be prepared to successfully resist all the attacks of Satan. His malignity and cruel power are not sufficiently estimated. When he finds himself foiled upon one point, he assumes new ground and fresh tactics and tries again working wonders in order to deceive and destroy humanity. Christ asks for all. It will not do to withhold anything. He has purchased us with his infinite price, and he requires that all we have shall be yielded to him in a willing offering. If we are fully consecrated to him in heart and life, faith will take the place of doubts and confidence the place of distrust and unbelief.